Wild Bust is weird and enjoyable. Much like a short hike, this game is about exploring the world. It's best to talk to everyone. You'll find all kinds of interesting places, information you need to know, and weird people that are just generally fun to talk to. This world is a wasteland. Life is crappy. They have interesting things to say. You want to find the promised land of light. That's the story. You set out from the safety of Crossroad Town in a bus to find it. You'll run into oddball characters and enemies in the areas between towns. However, not everyone is out to get you. Some are even helpful, and you can get items by helping them out. But to get to the next town, you do need to defeat a giant boxing shark. And that's after collecting the bounty on a rabbit magician. I'm not sure what happened in this world to make everyone so mad at my bus. The areas between towns is where you'll spend most of the time exploring. It's interesting because of the angle of the camera. Everything is a two-dimensional sprite, but the world is in three dimensions. You'll notice that this lets you jump on things and get to places that it doesn't seem like you should be able to, which is fun, but it also makes it difficult to judge where the bus is. There's no denying it. I had trouble climbing stairs. Yeah, there, there are stairs. Or getting through a narrow path. And that's just part of the allure of the game. It also makes it easy for the game to hide secrets, which is exactly what you want in this type of game. While Wild Bus is mostly about exploration, there's a lot of combat. Not a ton of enemies to defeat, but enough. They're all unique. As soon as you get out of sight of their spawn, they come back though, which makes it a little bit more difficult to explore, always having to deal with enemies. I'm thinking it would have made more sense to have the enemies respawn once you were back in town. It would have added to the burden of dying. Luckily, the bus is equipped with two weapons. A primary weapon that sits on the top of the bus, it fires projectiles, and a secondary weapon that's melee and is tacked onto the front of the bus. These start weird with a cannon and a boxing glove and then get weirder as the game goes on. I didn't even get a chance to buy the nose cannon. The starting weapons are perfect for the entire game. So I guess the others are just there for fun, which I don't mind at all. There are two more weapons of each type at every town. Also, the game allows you to switch weapons quickly with the shoulder buttons. Perhaps the best part is that you can combine your projectile and melee weapons together. This creates all kinds of results, which you must check in the options menu. It's smart to look in there when getting a new weapon because you never know what effects they'll have. Anyway, combining weapons is great. For example, if you punch the bombs, they fling forward, which means you get a bigger range. If you use the camera on the bombs, it's a, it's a melee weapon, they freeze and you can use them as platforms, which kind of breaks the game, but there are a lot of things that seem to break the game. The developers don't mind, and that's part of the appeal of Wild Bus. Keep in mind that you can use the bus as a weapon, but it is not advised. While it doesn't hurt the bus, it puts you in extreme danger. I consider Wild Bus casual, but failing or dying is easy. The enemies are there to kill you. The projectiles they shoot are accurate, and like the magician throws a bird that locks on. So there's a lot of dodging, but if you're in close, it can make it tricky. Failure or, or death only puts you back in the town you're closest to with no other penalty. But no reason to make it easier to fail. Oh yeah, Wild Bus is on a bus! You can pick up passengers along your travels. They don't always want to go with you right away. Which, okay, that's, that's fine. 
you know, uh, my feelings aren't hurt, I, I guess. But once they do get on the bus, you get a bonus. Like the grumpy old man you find in the first town. Once he's on the bus, you can use bullet time. I can't tell you that it's a useful skill, but it's a skill you can use, so there's that. One thing that I, I found to be a problem is that there's no autosave. I hope they add it. I'm annoyed that I quit the first time I played and it didn't save anything. I think everyone expects it to be there at this point in time. But Wild Bus doesn't punish deaths and it doesn't take long to finish the game. So even though I did have to replay, it wasn't that painful. Still, I would kindly ask the developers to add autosave. Overall, Wild Bus is great if you're into strange games. The combat is fine, but I can't stop playing. I want to meet each misfit that lives in this world. Wild Bus is a little rough and it's missing autosave, but it's unique and fun. I'm going to give it another playthrough and this time I'm going to make sure I pick up that nose cannon.